In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your own symbols to store in the symbol gallery. So we'll start with the symbol gallery. I'm going to go over to project. We need to create a folder to store our own symbols. I'm going to say new folder. I'm going to call this my symbols. Okay. Now let's come back to screen and actually go ahead and create our own custom symbol. So I'm going to use a display and I'm going to draw a box around it. As you can see, we can't see the display box. So I'm going to right click the rectangle I've just drawn, go to overlap order, and I'm going to move it last. I'm then going to click on the two controls while holding down the control key. And just to make it a little neater, I'm just going to align it inside of the control. Now I'm going to go ahead and create two tags. I'm going to call this my status. And I'm going to make this a boolean. And I'm going to create another tag which is just going to be for a value. And I'm going to make that an integer. Now coming back to our two objects, I'm going to put an animation on this one. So this can be the status. So I'm going to go to animation and I'm going to change the back color. Select the tag. And that's good. So when it's zero, I'm going to have it as red. I'm going to add another condition. And when it's one, it's going to be set as green. I'm going to also go ahead and assign a value to that tag, that display, sorry, of value. Now I've got these two together. I'm going to create a box around them, so they're both selected. I'm going to right click, go to symbol, and to begin with I'm going to group them. And now, I'm going to come back down to symbol, I'm going to add them to the symbol library. Going to ask where I'm going to say in my symbols. Now, the beauty of this is you can have multiple folders for different symbol types. Hit OK. Now you can see the symbols there. Now, when I drag that and drop it into my project, you can see when we inspect the property. So, if we right click on it, we say a dynamic property inspector. This is where we change the tags, but you can see it's created two new tags, status one and value one. And if we go over to our IO data server, we can see that reflected as well. So that's how you create your own custom symbol in Movicon Next 4.0. Thanks for watching.